with us in here, I have put my practice in 30 minutes. And more importantly, I hate the tension. Oh my gosh, don't get me started. There's no signal in here. How will I post a story for my followers? Well, if you all helped me arrange all this, maybe we would have been released by now. Whatever. Whoa! What is this? Looks like a blinking. Don't touch it. It looks old. You might get grounded or something. Nope. I'm touching it. You know that I'm getting bored. Modules, everyone! Modules! Come on, let's finish this now! Franklin Mouse Pinball a zoologist and weapons carrier. Hmm, sounds fancy. I'll join! Wow, hmm. how about her? Professor Shelley O'Gara. I think that's a pretty name. I want to finish all of this so we can get out of here. Yeah, don't bother her. She's busy being the Miss Goody Two Shoes. You know what? Fine, give me one of those. Ruby Roundhouse sounds promising. What? 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 It's not working. It's not working. What? I didn't mean to! Quick, pull the plug! Wait! This doesn't look good! What's happening? primary guide for today. Are you ready for your adventure? What adventure? Dr. Bravestone, we have been waiting for your arrival. Your mission is in the letter that we sent you. Have you read it? What letter? Yes! So make sure that you and your team will read everything so that you are well prepared for your mission. Formulating appropriate null and alternative hypotheses on a population proportion. 
Once you already know that you are dealing with the population proportion, you can conduct the hypothesis test. You can start with the first step of hypothesis test, which is to determine the hypothesis. In order to formulate now an alternative hypothesis concerning population proportion, you can write them in sentence form or you can use different symbols. Here, you will use the symbol P for the population proportion. Remember that the hypothesis are claims about the population proportion or P. The null hypothesis states that the proportion is equal to a specific value or the hypothesized proportion. On the other hand, the alternative hypothesis is the competing claim that the population proportion is less than, greater than, or not equal to the hypothesized proportion. As a reminder, the null hypothesis is always a statement of equality. Alternative hypothesis is always a statement of inequality. Using the symbols less than, greater than, or not equal, moreover, the hypotheses are stated in such a way that they are mutually exclusive. And yes, if one is true, the other must be false, and vice versa. If you are going to write the null hypothesis in sentence 1, you will usually use is or is equal to. Symbols, we are going to use null hypothesis C is equal to C sub O. Meanwhile, to formulate alternative hypotheses in sentence form or in symbols, you will just remember the following. When testing for population proportions, there are three possible alternative hypotheses. They are based on the wording of the question instructing you what to hypothesize. When the population proportion is lesser than hypothesis proportion, the words to be used are smaller, less, decreased, fewer, and lower. When the population proportion is greater than hypothesis proportion, the words to be used is larger, greater, more, and increased. When the population proportion is not equal to hypothesis proportion, the words are different, not equal to, and changed. In the given symbols as shown above, letters A and B are used in a one-tailed test or one-sided test, directional, while letter C is used for a two-tailed test, non-directional. As you might recall, the differences between one-tailed test and two-tailed test were already explained to you in the previous modules. And for the purpose of this lesson, the table below shows the differences between one-tailed test and two-tailed test. One-tailed test alternative hypothesis contains the greater than or less than symbols and it is directional or either right-tailed or left-tailed, while two-tailed test is alternative contains the inequality symbol and it has no direction. The next table below shows the null and alternative hypothesis stated together with the, te with the types of hypothesis tests. Illustrated examples. Example 1. It has been claimed that 40% of students in a particular senior high school dislike mathematics. When a survey was conducted by a researcher, it showed that 145 out of 800 students dislike mathematics. Thus, if the claim of difference of A equals 0 0.05 level. Null hypothesis. In this example, the hypothesized proportion is 40% or 0.40. Hence, the null hypothesis will be the proportion of students who dislike mathematics is 40%. In symbols, you can write alternative hypothesis. Our Q word here is different not the same, or not equal. Therefore, the alternative hypothesis is the proportion of students who dislike mathematics is not equal to 40%. In symbols, you can write since the word different is used in the given problem, the symbol to be used in alternative hypothesis 
is not equal. Take two. This is a two-tailed test or non-directional. Example two. A certain senior in high school plans to open STEM as an academic track only if 60% of the students in their junior high school will enroll in the following academic year. A survey conducted among a random sample of students revealed that 450 out of 1,000 students will enroll. Is the expected enrollment significantly lower than the desired enrollment? Test at A equals 0.05 level. Null hypothesis. The hypothesized proportion here is 60%. Therefore, the null hypothesis will be the proportion of students who will enroll on STEM track is 60%. In symbols, it can be written as below. Alternative hypothesis. Your hint in formulating the alternative hypothesis in this example is the phrase lower than which means less than. So your alternative hypothesis will be the proportion of students who will enroll on STEM track is lower than 60%, which can be written as below. Since the word lower is used in the given problem, the symbol to be used in alternative hypothesis is less than. No, this is a one-tailed test or directional. Example number three. It has been claimed that 40% of qualified applicants pass in a particular job interview. When a survey was conducted by a researcher of a certain company, it showed that 90 of 145 applicants pass the job interview. Test if the claim was larger at a, at a equals to 0.05 level. Null hypothesis. 40% is the hypothesis proportion. Hence, you have the null hypothesis stated as the proportion of qualified applicants in a particular job inter interview is 40%. And it can be written in symbols as below. Alternative hypothesis. The word larger is synonymous to greater Hence, your alternative hypothesis will be the proportion of qualified applicants in a particular job interview was larger than 40% or in symbols is written below. Since the word larger is used in the given problem, the symbol to be used in alternative hypothesis is greater than. Note, this is a one field test or directional. So, did you get it? Fun, right? Kinda. Guys, I'm sorry in advance. We're gonna die! Well, just press your left chest and you will see all the strengths and weaknesses that you can use for this mission. Make sure that you utilize them. Oh, I didn't know I have these skills. What? Endurance is a weakness? Oh no. So basically, I'm your sidekick. Wow, that's really great. It's really great. And look here. And my weaknesses are the opposites of your strengths. Wow, that's just fantastic. It's very fantastic. Well, it looks promising. Let's go with that. Let me remind you, what you learned a while ago will be useful for your mission. And if you fail this mission, you will be stuck in Jumanji forever. And let me remind you, you must save Jumanji and call it its name.